welcome back to the 2023 Big West Women's Basketball Preview Show presented by BuyB1.com. I'm your host, Crystal Blanc, along with Tammy Blackburn. And Tammy, we're up to our number three pick in the preseason poll. It is Long Beach State, the beach. And this is a team that has just one starter back from a season ago. So Jeff Cameron, the head coach, he's got a little rebuilding to do, but uh, he knew where to go. He's gone to the transfer portal like so many teams and uh, a lot to lot to look forward to. Yeah, Jeff Cameron in his sixth year, how about last year's record at 19 and nine, just one win shy away from that 20 win season. And you got to believe he's knocking on the door. Uh, they lose a lot, Maddie Udy, Justina King, Jasmine Hardy, three top scores. But this is a team that is led by Jeff Cameron and it is a focus on setting a defensive tone. And so you go out and you recruit players that can get into that defensive mindset. He's been able to do that. Uh, I believe that defensive uh, strategies win. I played that way in college at San Diego State. There's a sense of pride in the product that Jeff Kamen, uh with that defensive tone puts on the floor. Yep, defense, a big focus. And especially when you have young players, maybe the offense isn't quite clicking, but you can always play the D. But he does have a senior back. He has one starter in Makai Berry, a redshirt senior. She can score, she can rebound, she can give them a lot. Yeah, I think, you know, her stat line is so impressive, right? You know, she's she's a scorer. Uh, she does so many of the other little things. And if you were to look on that stat line or stat sheet, uh, career-wise, you know, blocks, steals, assists. I think about a player in Makai Berry that is really a complete player, and uh, she cares more about the stats that are so important to winning than she does her own personal accolades uh, with points on the board. She is going to be a leader. She will be a part of this mature group. She will ask to, uh, to, to defend. And then you put Kiana Hamilton, who's a gamer, right around her, and I think uh, great things to happen for this Long Beach State program. Yeah, absolutely. And then some of the new transfer players as well. Jeff Kamen putting together kind of a new looking team. Always great to hear from him. And when we return, we'll get a chance to catch up and hear some insight from Jeff Kamen and what he's going to do for the beach. The B1 Performance Patch elevates physical functions by transforming carbs into glucose used to fuel the body. Don't compete without it. Visit buyb1.com or on social media at B1Patch. Power isn't born, it's built over time. For over 65 years, Hercules Tires has been providing the muscle to move more drivers. Whatever the vehicle, whatever the terrain, and we back it with a powerful protection plan. So wherever the road or the trail takes you, we have the selection, value, and strength to get you there. Hercules Tires, ride on our strength. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio, Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. The Big West is back in Las Vegas. Don't miss the 2023 Hercules Tires Big West Basketball Championships presented by the Hawaiian Islands, March 7th through the 11th at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada. Catch the pulse-pounding action as 20 men's and women's teams battle to punch their ticket to the NCAA Tournament. Get the best seats in the house at longbeachstate.com slash tickets or call 562-985-4949. Welcome back to the Big West Women's Basketball Preview Show, talking about the number three pick team this year, Long Beach State. And the head coach, Jeff Kamen, caught up with our Molly Sullivan to kind of break things down about the beach. Here we are, coach. You're entering your sixth season, which is wild. What's going through your mind here as we get ready to, to tip? I just, it's a, a, a blessing, you know, to be able to, you know, do what I love to do, you know, impact lives through a, a passion of mine, which is basketball. And uh, I'm just grateful to not only have another season, but to see another day, you know, so, you know, I'm just, just grateful and blessed. I go into what we call work, you know, uh, with a grateful attitude and, a, you know, spirit of, like I said, 
said, spirit of gratitude. So I'm blessed. I have a great group of young ladies. I feel like our culture is uh, in a good place. Obviously, it's, you know, ever changing. You know, you have young ladies coming in and out, uh, especially with the new, <laughs> the new way things are going. But, you know, we adapt and adjust. And I foundationally i feel like we're in a good place uh but you know we have a lot of work to do and uh, we we we've been trying to do that but we look forward to continue to build and uh, get ready for the season perspective is a beautiful thing and watching you on the sideline uh with our crew right down the street here in henderson nevada uh you, you were always so calm cool and collected and and your team really reflected uh, that that same personality trait, if you will, is is that one of your strong suits with your team? Is to keep them grounded, to keep them on on what matters most? That it's bigger than basketball. Yes, yes, this is part of uh, culturally who we are, and, uh, and you know, it's not get too high, not get too low. You know, stay in the middle. You know, to have joy, let circumstances dictate our actions, and you know, um, and and again, I, I think internally. You know, there's a fight always going on, but you can't always tell that. Uh, I do think our young ladies uh, reflect that um, for the most part, but it's a it's a work in progress. You know, uh, you know, the, I think I thought the expectations to a certain extent last year, you know, bothered us, but it's growing pains. You know, we've for the first time, you know, uh, competing at the top of our conference uh, with a, a, a real shot to to win the league last year, and I, I felt like it impacted us a little bit, but I, I, I'm very pleased with, with how we responded in a lot of ways. And, and yes, you know, I, I would like to think I'm composed. I don't feel that way all the time, but um, I try to be. And you are a former history teacher, oh, by the way. <laughs> and so when we talk about that target on the back, when you entered Henderson, Nevada for the Big West Basketball Championships, what did your squad, what is your program as a whole, what did you learn from that experience with that target, that, that three seed target? You know, again, we go, we go back to our foundation uh, culturally is, you know, try not to let circumstances uh, and what's going on on the outside dictate our actions. And uh, I, I, just to feel that and understand that, hey, we're, we are in control of, you know, how we respond to the things that go on around us. You know, um, I thought it was a great learning experience. We had great dialogue with, you know, the group we have coming back and even the ones that, you know, we, we, you know, like Maddie was on campus, she's about to go to Finland and she just won a championship over in Australia in the second league and talked about how that experience helped prepare her, you know, for, for that experience. So it's life, you know, we always try to, you know, connect it and correlate it to, to life because that's what I think sports is, a microcosm of, you know, our, uh, of our world and society. So, um, yeah, I th thought we learned how to, you know, respond a little bit better. I think going into next year, we'll be a lot more prepared, or not next year, but this year, we'll be uh, much more prepared to deal with, I think, the things that come along with, you know, being a competitive program. And coach, you may have lost the Big West Defensive Player of the Year, but you got six returning players. Uh, break that down for us. What do you, what'd you see? What'd you like in the off season? Yeah, it, it's, whenever you can't teach experience, you know, so you, you look at it on paper, you know, obviously we, we've lost, you know, Justina, Jasmine, you know, and Maddie and the three of our top scorers. Um, but, you know, for the most part, uh, if you look at Makai coming back, who's six year, you know, you Kiana Hamilton, who hit two game winners this past year, and she does so much for us on the floor. I think she sacrificed a lot of our, her game for the betterment of the, of the, of the team. Um, you know, Lauren, who green, who's dealt with a lot of injuries. She wasn't really herself last year. Um, you know, just a defensive, you know, she took five charges in a game. I think that's unheard of, you know, uh, but you know, all these young ladies, I think the, the, the youngest we have coming back are sophomores, juniors, you know, because of the COVID year, but you know, I, I there's just a lot of experience. I'm excited about just the experience, you know, a group that can kind of set the precedence and set the tone for the young ladies that, that are coming in this year. And coach, you mentioned Kiana Hamilton hitting those two game winners, uh, but she also had 49 steals and 40 dimes last season. I mean, she was making it happen. What, what is it about that mentality, that player that can do it all, right? And, and, and do whatever your team needs. We love versatile, you know, you know, players, you know, that can do more than one thing. And, um, you know, we're equal opportunity offensively. We try to be, obviously, we want to, 
you know, get our best players the most touches. But for the most part, we want everyone confident enough to, to play to their strength and, and uh, help on offensive end. So, yeah, Kiana is just, you know, at the top of that. She can just do it, everything. And if you look at her attempts a game, you know, earlier in the year, she I thought she was averaging about 15 or 16, um, you know, and it, it was just in the flow of the game. But, you know, she understood her role was to, you know, defend and rebound and do all the little things. She wasn't necessarily looking to be aggressive um, offensively, which we're going to need her to do a little bit more of because she has the ability to do that. So, yes, defensively, she's everywhere. And with Makai Berry, she was on the defensive uh, first team or the defensive team the year before last, her junior season. So, you know, we our identity is, is our defense. You know, we, we turn people over almost – 20 times a game in the last three years. And we were the number one in our uh, assist to turnover ratio in the country. Um, and th that had a lot to do with our ability to, you know, dictate on the defensive end and turn people over. And that's what we hang our hat on. So when you look at Lauren Green coming back and Makai and Kiana, you know, even with KJ, who you saw towards the end of the year, you know, uh, did a lot of things to, that led to winning. Uh, Savannah Tucker, you know, and then uh, uh, Pat. So you have a, a lot of young ladies who have been in the system and they, you know, the, the more you're in it, the better you're going to be, right? The less thinking and the more you're taking ownership and, you know, uh, manipulating it, you know, uh, in a positive way. So, yeah, when you look at Kiana, she just does a lot and it, it, she's very talented. I, I just don't, people don't understand how talented she she really is. And, and uh, we're looking for, and she's healthy. Her first two years, she she dealt with in injuries and she, we, you know, we don't go out and obviously everyone deals with it, but she's been playing on a bum knee for the last couple of years. And she's she finally had a chance to go through a full off season where she could actually work on her game, game and train, you know, and it, it does a lot for your confidence. It does a lot for your mental to be able to get those reps. So I think you're going to see it's going to be her best year yet. And obviously she has another year after this year, but uh, we we were very excited about the potential of what she's going to do this season. And, and with that said, I'm sitting about five miles away from Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada, where you guys will play the Big West Basketball Championship this spring. Uh, if yes. we could fast forward, Coach, what are you going to be pleased with? What what will give you great joy? Uh, you know that week of the basketball tournament. What what what's the success for you? Yeah, I, I think playing our best basketball by the end of the year. I'm not sure, you know, we've done that our last couple of years. I think that's a reflection on coaching. You know, I haven't done a great job of making sure that we've improved, you know, as we go along. We started out really hot the last couple of years. We had a 10-game winning streak a uh, year before last. And this past year, we were like 16-2 and two at one point. And, you know, I, I thought that we, 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 we stumbled and didn't respond as well. Um, but I, I, I look, at, you know, making some adjustments and obviously we're, we're, we're a little deeper than we've been in the past. Um, so I, I look for us to be playing our best basketball. I, I expect us to be in the hunt to, you know, hold up that trophy at the end of the year. Uh, that's our goal. We have the, you know, with, with our returners and the firepower that we've brought in, um, old and young, I feel really good about our ability to compete for a championship and the expectation is to win it, you know, you know, regular season to, to win a conference championship. But what we talk about uh, more than anything is maxing out, you know, on our potential, you know, it's great to win and that's ultimately the goal, but there's more substance into reaching our potential and even exceeding that, you know, and that's our goal to get better 1% every day and, you know, be playing our best basketball and being the best versions of ourselves individually and as a team by the end of the season. There it is. There it is right there. I love, always appreciate your time, Coach. Best of luck this season. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Always a pleasure uh, spending time with you. Thank you. Thank you. The Big West is back in Las Vegas. Order your tickets today for the 2023 Hercules Tires Big West Basketball Championships presented by the Hawaiian Islands, March 7th through the 11th at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada. Don't miss a minute of pulse pounding action as 20 men's and women's teams battle to punch their ticket to the next level. Get the best seats in the house at longbeachstate.com slash tickets, or you can call 562-985-4949. The B1 Performance Patch elevates physical functions by transforming carbs into glucose used to fuel the body. Don't compete without it.
Visit buyb1.com or on social media at b1patch. The word malama translates to taking care. We malama the land that feeds us. All of that energy that's being put in the ground gets transferred into food. It allows us as a people to thrive as well. Learn how you can malama Hawaii at gohawaii.com slash malama. Sometimes faster isn't always better. Like when you're getting a tattoo. Or saying I love you on the first date. Or putting together certain Swedish furniture. But when it comes to getting in and out of the airport, faster is always better. And at Ontario International Airport, you can have a stress-free experience from the curb to the gate. It's the least we can do. The Big West is back in Las Vegas. Don't miss the 2023 Hercules Tires Big West Basketball Championships presented by the Hawaiian Islands, March 7th through the 11th at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada. Catch the pulse-pounding action as 20 men's and women's teams battle to punch their ticket to the NCAA Tournament. Get the best seats in the house at longbeachstate.com slash tickets or call 562-985-4949. Sammy, Coach Kamen, he's feeling good about the experience that he has coming back, even though they have just the one starter, Makai Berry, uh, four transfers as well. So a lot to look forward to and always, always behind his defense. That's really the identity of Jeff Kamen's system. Yeah, I'll just throw a note in too. You mentioned four transfers. Uh, three of those are grad students. So there's experience there. They may be new to the program, but they are not new to basketball. And with Jeff Kamen's style of coaching, uh, they, they will get after it. And again, I can't wait to watch this team play. Uh, setting the tone defensively, you know that that leads to offense, fast breaks, and that is entertaining basketball. You know, what a way to sit down on a weekend or a week nine and, and be able to tune in uh, and watch that, that tone setting defense get things going. Yeah, they're going to need the D. Tough non-conference schedule at Arizona and at Baylor. They better bring the defense, especially for those two. But gr again, great to see how tough these coaches are scheduling. Yeah, and Jeff Kamen has great connections with uh, top schools, especially in the West region. He's going to pick up the phone like so many of these other coaches did in the Big West. Get those tough games on the schedule. They'll be Big West ready come conference time. For the beach, pick number three. Coming up next, we're going to preview our number two pick on the season right after this on our preview show.